morning everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and Designs and today we're working on part three of our wedding sign tutorials and today I'll be working with peace and dream with spray paint so if this sounds like a tutorial that would interest you please keep watching so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove the tags which I got these from King Dollar and then I'm going to change my clothes so that I can go outside and actually start spray painting. And after that, I'll let it dry and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's had a fresh coat of spray paint. Okay, so now that I have both pieces spray painted, next is time to decorate and embellish. And what I've decided is I'm going to add lace to the back of both of these pieces. And when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've affixed the lace with hot glue to the very back. And I would recommend low temperature glue, okay? But to the very back of the... Um, sign and I've done that as you can see here and I wanted you to notice something you see how floppy the lace is so what I did was I used some stiffen and instead of spraying it since I already affixed the lace I use a um, foam brush and I have a little bit of the stiffen liquid in here and all you do is you paint the, well you know what I'm gonna show you how I actually did this I'm gonna set this one over to the side I have a kitchen towel that has seen brighter days and I just laid it flat made sure that all of my lace was exposed where it needed to be and I'm protecting my surface and then I'm just dipping the sponge into the liquid and then I'm just brushing it on the lace making sure that it's nicely saturated and getting in between the crevices. I'm not trying to stiffen all of the lace. I just need the top portions of the lace to be stiff. And this particular solution is kind of sticky because I see the little webs as it starts to dry. And the directions say to go ahead and apply it where you need it on your fabrics, making sure that you protect the area that you're working on and let it dry for an hour or you can use a blow dryer. Well, I have natural hair and so do my children and my uh, boo bear, so I have a heat gun. But remember, this is polyester that we're working with. So you must be very careful and you also must stay at least eight inches away from the fabric while you're using this heat gun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish brushing the rest of this stiffen up which I have to tell you guys I purchased this a while back through Walmart online because it's the only place that I could find it they make other brands of this type of stuff but for people who are in cheer this and they have to have all those bows and whatnot this is the 
product of choice for working with fabrics and trying to get them stiff. But I know that some people, at least back in the day, we used to use like paper mache, which is kind of like what you can use Mod Podge for. I'm not sure if it'll work, but it could be worth a try. Um, but this Aileen's Original Stiff and Quick, it's called Stiff and Quick, but there's another one that says Stiff and Up. Um, this is the one that I've seen everybody use, so this is why I purchased it, and I got it from Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. So I'm just taking my air gun and working back and forth. And I'll do this until it's dry, and it only takes about maybe three minutes. So I'm going to finish this up, and when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so now I have both of my pieces that have been stiffened, the lace, so that it stands up like I want, onto my favorite part, which is decorating. And what I'm going to do is I'll decide if I'm going to use these pearls, which have like an Aurora Borealis type of look to it. But look what I got off of Amazon. And I know you guys are thinking, Raina, that doesn't look so good. Oh yeah? Take a look at it. Now, look at those crystals. And this is different from the other one because the other one, these squares are, yeah, these crystals are rectangles. Some people would consider them like baguettes but these are wider than what a normal baguette would be so i just call it just a regular like emerald type cut but they're so pretty they need to be shined up because of this sticky paper that's on it which was a protective layer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to embellish the front yeah that's the back i'm going to embellish the front and when i come back i'll show you the final look so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've cut a strip off of this sheet here of the crystals and I cleaned up the sheet first. And then the wonderful thing about this one is that I can actually use my heat gun to affix it to the wood which I've done here. So I just came back on camera so that I could show you how I did it. So because I want these particular um, rectangles to go straight down the line I have to adhere each piece individually which I'm okay with that um, because I want it to look right so I'm just gonna take it and place it on the sign where I want it and then use my heat gun It's very hot, so please be very, very careful while you're handling this. And that's all you have to do. Cut you a piece, place it where you want it, and turn on your heat gun. Just takes a couple of seconds as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and continue down the line and when I come back I'll show you how it looks so here you are I have my decorated piece sign and my decorated family sign and I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. So what I used, I know that I showed you how I did it, but this particular um, heat tool I got off of uh, Amazon, but you can find it, I'm pretty sure, at like uh, Michael's or, or Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just that when I went into mine, I didn't see them, but I know it's something that it can be, that you can pick up in those types of hobby stores. Um, but if I remember, I'll, I'll put the link down below 
and if if I don't remember and you guys want it just put it in the comments below and um, I'll go ahead and I'll add it I had to do that today for um, a subscriber that was looking for something from that at that last Amazon haul that I forgot to put down in the description box but anyway um, these foam flowers which they look so cute and realistic these came from King Dollar and there were three in a pack because they're the bigger ones but they have little small ones also and I think it's like nine or twelve in a pack for those but these down here are silk flowers that I actually just received today uh, off of Amazon and it came in a uh, excuse me one moment it came in this huge bag and it's quite a few of them so this is for another tutorial where I'm going to be doing a bridal bouquet and um, I'm very very excited about that tutorial because it's a very very special tutorial so I'm just going to set this over to the side but so I used these silk flowers that I just got off of Amazon and then the white the cream flowers are actually foam flowers that I got at King Dollar you know that the lace was already from Amazon and the stiffen I picked up online as well at Walmart I think I got this at walmart.com uh, and had it delivered in the store but this I had delivered like months and months ago um, and of course you know that this beautiful bling that I've used on both of them this one is the bling baguettes whereas this is more of like the uh, emerald cut um, and I'm putting them together so that you can see the the difference I hope that that's coming through and I hope the beauty of these pieces are coming through and then the pearls the pearls have a little bit of an aurora borealis type of look because they're clear but you see hints of pinks and purples and golds and greens in it that I picked up this weekend at um, Joann's Joann's fabric and it came in a little container like this these are the white ones that I'll be using for another DIY but anyway I think both of them turned out so pretty I'm really really happy with the way both of them turned out they're gonna look great at the venue and I'm just I'm so happy and excited and the days are ticking away really fast so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up please leave comments down below because you know how much I really enjoy answering your questions chit chatting with you um, and just listening to the conversations that you may have between one another that's been a little while since um, since that occurred but I would really love to see more interaction with the subscribers and those individuals that are in our community please if you haven't already click the subscribe button if this is a channel that interests you and also if you click the subscribe button there's a bell on the side that gives you notifications of when I upload and I upload usually two to three times a week and I'm gonna continue at that pace and so on that I just want to tell everyone I'm so so thankful that you continue to watch and continue to learn from the different tutorials and DIYs that I do I have a lot of things um, going on to help improve our channel and I don't know if you've noticed but we've got a new background here uh, and I picked up I don't know if you guys can see this but I picked up some lights because I thought they were really cute off of the app the wish app um, but I thought they stayed on and they don't they're a meteor shower so um, my production assistant aka my daughter said it's too distracting so I couldn't turn them on so I'm probably gonna be taking those down but I just wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate everything that you guys do every time that you watch uh, when you comment when you subscribe when you give us a thumbs up I really appreciate that and we're getting close to 3500 on our channel and before you know it we will be up to 4,000 and what I've decided to do is I'm gonna be doing uh, some giveaways uh, because there are those of you that are brand new and there are those of you that have been with me from the time that I first started doing DIYs and uploading regularly and I want to be able to reward all of you whether you've been here from the start 
or if you're just starting today. So keep on watching and I'll be giving you more information about um, the giveaways that I'll be doing. And so on that note, everyone, please have a wonderful evening. Bye.